Being a professional athlete is great and all, but it's hard to play pro for more than 15 years, at least at an extremely high level. Athletes retire for many reasons. They don't have it anymore. They suffer too many injuries. They lose desire to play the game. And it goes on and on. But some legendary athletes walked away from the game, only to come crawling right back. I'm Justin Fraction, and today we dive into the 10 greatest athletes who came out of retirement. And we do hope you enjoy this video, and if you do, feel free to click subscribe down below for more cool videos every single day. Number 10. Justine Hennen Hennen is one of the most dominant female tennis stars we've ever seen. She won seven Grand Slams, including four French Opens. Despite being in her prime, Hennen opted to retire in 2008, which shocked many. She wanted to focus on charity work and believed it was the right time to hang up the racket. 16 months later, Hennen made a comeback, returning during the 2010 season. However, Hennen wasn't quite able to rediscover her old form. She retired for good in 2011, citing a bad elbow injury. But hey, the comeback was exciting nonetheless. Number 9. Brett Favre Favre was a Green Bay Packers icon, leading them to a Super Bowl 31 victory while taking home three MVP awards. But following a loss in the 2007 NFC Championship, Favre opted to announce his retirement. It didn't last long, however. Favre decided to come out of retirement and play again that same offseason. Only the Packers decided it was now Aaron Rodgers' time to lead the team. Favre was traded to the New York Jets, where he played one season. He spent two years with the Minnesota Vikings before retiring after the 2010 season. Honestly, at some point, people believed he was never going to retire. Number 8. Roger Clemens 11 All-Star Games, 7 Cy Youngs, and 2 World Series Championships. It was quite a career for Roger Clemens. He chose to retire after the 2003 season, a year in which Clemens won 17 games and posted 190 strikeouts. The Yankees lost to the Florida Marlins in the World Series, but Clemens chose to come out of retirement and join the Houston Astros the following year. He won 18 games and had a 2.98 ERA, finishing his final Cy Young Award. Clemens kept on dealing rockets until 2007, and then he was out of baseball for good. Number 7. Deion Sanders Prime time is arguably the greatest shutdown corner of all time. He was named to eight Pro Bowls and two Super Bowls, but decided it was time to stop shutting down elite corners after a disappointing 2000 season with the Washington Redskins. Sanders came out of retirement and joined the Baltimore Ravens in 2004. Of course, he wasn't even close to being a star at that point of his career, and he retired after the 2005 season. Number 6. George Foreman Many of you probably only know his name because you had a George Foreman grill. But the man was one of the most dominant boxers ever. He and Muhammad Ali put on a show for the ages in the legendary Rumble in the Jungle. Foreman lost a match to Jimmy Young in 1977 and decided to hang up the gloves. Foreman then became a Christian minister following retirement. However, he chose to come back at age 38 in 1987. And in 1994, Foreman knocked out Michael Moore to become the IBF, WBA, and lineal champion. I guess he felt like he had to keep on going until he had no fight left in him. Number 5. Pele Widely recognized as the greatest soccer player in the world, Pele led Brazil to FIFA World Cup victories in 1958, 1962, and 1970. He also scored 1,281 goals in 1,363 career games. That's dominance, baby. Pele retired in 1972 as a member of the Santos Club, but he came out of retirement to join the New York Cosmos in 1975. Pele played for the club until 1977, finishing his career in a hyped-up exhibition match against his old Santos squad. Number 4. Floyd Mayweather Jr. So, uh, the greatest boxer of the 21st century has hundreds of millions, a perfect record, and he simply dominated all of his opponents. Money Mayweather really was something else. Mayweather has gone through a couple of retirements during his long career. His first came after he defeated Ricky Hatton in December 2007, as the undefeated champ wanted to concentrate on his promotional company at the time. Almost two years later, he returned to defeat Juan Manuel Marquez via unanimous decision. Then in September 2015, Floyd once again announced his retirement from the ring following a win against Andre Berto. But two years later in 2017, Mayweather announced he'd be making another comeback, this time to take part in a highly anticipated super fight with UFC star Conor McGregor. Moral of the story, you can never trust a Floyd Mayweather retirement announcement. Number 3. Magic Johnson The Los Angeles Lakers legend retired in 1991 after being diagnosed with HIV. However, Johnson chose to compete for the infamous Dream Team in the 1992 Olympics, helping the Americans win gold. Johnson came out of retirement and played one more season for the Lakers in 1995-96, averaging 14.6 points and 6.9 assists per game. He still had a bit of game left in him, but Johnson retired after the season. Number 2. Mario Lemieux 
What can we say about Super Mario? Two Stanley Cups, six scoring titles, and three heart trophies as league MVP. Sadly, after battling back injuries and Hodgkin's lymphoma, Lemieux opted to retire in 1997. Despite scoring 50 goals and 122 points, Lemieux spent three years out of hockey but rejoined the Pens for the 2000-2001 season. Lemieux spent bits of five or more seasons with the Pens before retiring in the 2005-06 season. He became part owner and saved the team from moving to Las Vegas, though, helping them win the Cup in 2009 and 16. And number one, Michael Jordan, the greatest NBA player of all time chose to retire following the Chicago Bulls' third straight title in 1993. Jordan simply said that he didn't have the desire to play anymore and was grieving the untimely death of his father. Jordan sat out the entire 1993-94 season and then announced he was coming back during the 1994-95 season. Good thing, too, because MJ led Chicago to three more titles from 1996 to 1998, taking home two more MVP awards. Jordan retired after the 1998 season then opted to join the Washington Wizards in 2001 too. He averaged 22.9 points per game as a guy pushing 40, not bad at all. Jordan played his final season in 2002-3, averaging 20 points per game before retiring once and for all. Would we call him the GOAT if he stayed retired the first time? Who knows? But it was clearly the right choice for MJ to come back. One of the great athletes retired, then came back. Join us in the comment section below. If you liked this video and learned a thing or two, Clicking the like button helps us out a ton and we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to Total Pro Sports though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.